Live look at the sky over Hoover. You can see some clouds out there. If people are heading out to start some of that shopping on this Friday afternoon, it looks like you can expect some rain. We've got Chief Meteorologist Dave Nussbaum joining us. Lots of events this weekend, but you're going to need that umbrella. Unfortunately, that's right, Carly. A lot of rain coming into play. We have some now. We're going to see more coming into play overnight through Saturday and Sunday. I mean, we'll be raining the entire time, but a lot of the time we are going to see that rain. Right now, that's what our weekend planner is highlighting here from I Love Irondale Rock the South. Uh, soggy up there today. The Barons are in town, and of course, the sales tax holiday shopping. We're looking at Saturday and Sunday. There's scattered showers and storms each day. High temperatures, not bad. Only in the middle 80s here in the middle part of July. We'll take that. But right now, cloudy from our Hoover Height Regency camera here. Temperatures coming in 83 degrees in Hoover. Very muggy air mass in place, and that's allowing us to get that heavy rain threat. But a scattering of showers now from near Double Springs toward Jasper. Coleman, some more rain for you. 73 there. Aniana, 81. Alabaster, 79 with a storm nearby. Back toward Brent at 87. And we're at 85 here in Birmingham. And you can see some of these storms kind of working the way through Bibb County, heading to eventually western part there of Shelby County and Jefferson County. Some light rain near Lakeview, North Johns area going over toward Bessemer. A few more storms near the Moundville area as well, too. And uh, giving you an idea, kind of tracking out some of this rain here for you from the West Blockton area towards Six Mile Jemison. It is kind of drifting its way here to the north, maybe just over 20 miles per hour. Gets towards the Seymour area there around 520 West Blockton, around 522 for you. Over toward Montevallo there around 524. Over toward McCulley area around 525 and toward Hebron around 5. 30. So we're still watching this little batch of rain lifting its way to the north here and eventually could impact Alabaster, Pelham, Helena area, maybe even Hoover. But more rain continues to build up from the south. New storms now just popping up there in Walker County back to Winston County and we'll continue seeing some rain up near the Gadsden area. A bigger area of rain coming into parts there just to the south of uh, Green and Hale County is now into Sumter County. That'll lift its way northward as well. This is part of a little upper level disturbance or wave kind of moving in along this front and you can see kind of moving its way here from the southwest to the northeast. That'll be the trend throughout the night tonight and really in the weekend as this front slowly lingers to the north. Now for Coleman to deal with some light rain up there now and for Rock the South this evening, you have the chance of rain at right around 40 to 60 percent through one o'clock in the morning. So very soggy weather up there indeed. Chance of rain overnight for the rest of us around 60 percent and tomorrow chance of rain around 70 percent or so across the area. So future cast will show that we are dealing with again. There's scattering of showers and storms becoming a little more widespread spread through about dinner time, 7 o'clock this evening. Still some lingering rain here around 10 o'clock tonight. None of this severe, but could produce some heavy rain at times. Waking up Saturday morning around 7 a.m., we're talking more scattered showers and storms, and then they continue to fire up as another little upper level system moves through Saturday afternoon. Heading into Saturday evening, the rain does finally taper off here, but by the time you wake up on Sunday, get ready for church, we'll start seeing some more scattering of showers and storms continuing into Sunday afternoon. But notice the high temperatures only staying in the 80s as we head to the weekend. Now the rain totals the next couple days could still be around two to four inches and this really helping out with those dry conditions out there and the drought. So it'd be really good if we can get these rain totals out there. Putting a dent in the drought won't be able to completely erase it. We need about a good 12 inches of rain in one month for that to happen. So after the soggy weather this weekend, we don't really warm up much next week. More scattered storms, believe it or not, staying stormy there all the way through next Friday when finally the chance of rain starts to go down, but high temperatures remain in the 80s. Carly.